Okay, for this part, machen wir Fragen machen. Fragen machen. So we're making questions. So for the next part, I want you to focus on the formulation of questions and also how the verb endings change when we switch into the second person. Second person being you or du in German. Okay, so there's going to be a question on the last slide asking you to type a rule all right, in your own roles, uh, in your own words of how to formulate questions in German. All right, so this is the example slide. On the following 11 slides, you're going to see a word bank. You're going to see the verb in the upper left-hand corner. So I used one that I know we all like, schlafen, or to sleep. And then there's the two forms here, which correspond to the first person singular or the second person singular. Okay, so that's ich, or I, or you, or du in German, and you need to figure out where they fit in these blanks, okay? Now, from the previous slides, you should remember that all of the verbs had E ending because we were saying, I'm doing that, okay? So, ich schlafe, ich singe, ich spiele Schach, ich spiele Disc Golf, okay? So you would know that schlafe must correspond to the first person, ich. So that would go here. And then schläfst, schläfst, the st ending, goes here in front of the du. So in the second person singular, you'll always see an st ending. All right, so you're going to see multiple choice questions, and you need to choose the correct answer, which is the question and the answer that have the correct verb endings corresponding to the first and second person singular, ich and du. So the first one says, schlafe du, nein, ich schläfe nicht. All right, is that correct? Nein, natürlich nicht, of course not. Schlafe does not go with du, schlafe goes with ich. All right, so the next one says, schläfst du? Nein, ich schlafe nicht. All right, so this would be the correct answer. ST goes with du, and E ending schlafe goes with ich. So you would mark that one and move on to the next question. So down here, you see the question. All right, I want you to pay attention to what's happening to the sentence order or the word order in the sentence when we make those questions compared to when we say them in a statement. And you're either going to see a yes or no answer to these questions. So if it's no, you'll see nein, ich schlafe nicht, or no, I sleep not. Of course, in English, we would say I don't sleep or I'm not sleeping. Or you'll see, ja, ich schlafe, ja, ich schlafe, simply, yes, I sleep, or I'm sleeping. All right, so um, carry on. Please send me a message if you have any questions about that. Viel Spaß.